Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can probably tell by the title or already by what I'm holding, I'm doing a Avatar The Last Airbender haul. These are items I've collected throughout the years. Avatar The Last Airbender and Legends of Korra is just my all-time favorite. I'm a huge fan. I just rewatched both of the series and I can't get enough. If you want to see everything, all the things, Avatar, go ahead and keep watching. I don't know if you guys can hear them howling. I love it. They howl every time. <laughs> every time a siren passes. <laughs> this is a state-of-the-art 2020 Toys Lando Appa. Why do I know the full name? <laughs> because I was searching for it for about six months. This came out obviously in 2020. And there was an oppa before this one that was all over the place. This one came out second and I could not find it anywhere. Toys Lando had it on their site, but it was not available. The hunt continued all the way through Christmas and my mom bought me this one because I really wanted one of these and we couldn't find this guy over here because this is like original oppa. This is like Oogie, you know, like from Legends of Korra. I really wanted Appa at the time and I'm really glad that I have both as dumb as it is. Ugi is like a little bit lighter and kind of has more of like that reddish tone whereas Appa was definitely more of like a traditional brown. Obviously a huge fan. I have to talk about this cute little music box next. It's got like the avatar and like the four elements in it. It's so precious. I just want to play it for you right now. You obviously heard this at the beginning. This is just my little treasure and I cherish it. I play it every now and then. Sometimes I play it before bed because it's just the last thing I wanna hear, you know? That's weird, okay. A lot of the items that I have in this collective haul are from Etsy. And Etsy actually has a lot of music boxes like this. This one in particular, I had to find from a different shop. Of course, links will be all below as always in the description. But this one I really just wanted in particular. I'm really glad that I found it somewhere. Etsy did not have it at the time. They may have it now. Next, I have to talk about this pullover, this jumper, whatever you may call it, that I have on. Obviously very Oppa themed. I love the color and I love Etsy because you have so many different options of colors that you can choose on Etsy for the same thing. And of course, I will link all of the shops down below that I found everything from. So this is just kind of like a patchwork put onto the front. And it also has Yip Yip on the sides, which I think is so awesome. And that is just kind of embroidered on. Obviously stuff that's embroidered is gonna last a lot longer than something that's printed on. So this has had its fair share of washes already and it's holding up really good. I'm gonna quickly talk through a few other jumpers that I picked up as well. So this is another one that I got. I love it because it totally looks like a university state type pullover, crew neck, whatever you want to call these, but it's obviously Avatar. I particularly picked this one out and I'm so sorry about the hair, you guys. My cat loves to sit on this one and I lint rolled it like a for a really long time. I just wanted to show you the middle here. So it has all the elements. It has Appa and like the dragon on it. I really loved all the little details on this one. There was a ton on Etsy, so many different varieties, but I picked this one in particular because I love the middle. <laughs> I bought this one and the one I just showed you guys around Christmas. It was kind of like my Christmas gift to myself. I had no idea my boyfriend was looking at these for me too. Cause I mean, I had been talking about them and I was like really wanting them. So he was so sweet. He bought me two of these as well. So he got me an Avatar State one in this nice maroon kind of color. And I really like the color. I wore this one for like a week straight. I washed it. Okay, I washed it, but I just kept putting it on after anyways. Love it, still wear it all the time. And I think the 2005 must be when Avatar The Last Airbender came out. I'll have to double check. He got me this one too. So it has just like the jasmine dragon with the white lotus symbol in the middle. And I also bought him a hat around the same time too that is just like this really cool like charcoal heather gray hat with like the white lotus symbol embroidered on the front. It's dope. 
I'll have to show you guys that as well. I'll put like a little clip in of that. But he got me this one. It's just like a nice navy color and I love this one too. They all fit the same. I would gladly show you them all, but literally they all look like this on me. It's a pretty generic type size. <laughs> it's just small. I definitely love Appa and this one was way too cute to pass up. He's hugging a cloud. So it's just kind of like the same patchwork kind of thing. There's nothing on the sleeves on this one. It's just like a hoodie. And I also wear this one a ton. These are just my easily like, I gotta go out really quick and do something. I'm just throwing these on. They're really soft, they're really warm. And I just love the designs on them. All right, I am very much so a crop top kind of person. So this is how all of my t-shirts end up being if they're not already cropped. And this one looks really cute with just like a little knot on the side. This is one of like my favorite moments, aesthetically speaking, of the show is when they're on Appa just kind of like flying and the music's playing and it's just, it's just a perfect moment. This shirt was obviously iconic for me. I had to get it. The quality from the shirts and from the crewnecks that I showed you all, really good quality and you're supporting a small business when you shop on Etsy. So I think that's also just a nice feeling and they don't cut corners. You know, really nice shirts. Everything's printed on really nicely. There's a lot of care put into everything. So I appreciate that. The turtle ducks were one of my favorite animals, okay? I think they're so cute, but I love the way that the artist kind of put these together and how, you know, the pan of the water is like in its own little space and then the turtle duck kind of goes above it. I just think that looks really cool. Just something a little extra put into the shirt and this one also came in quite a few different colors. And I wanna say this was a men's size, I can't remember, but I got an extra small, still just as soft. There's nothing too firm about any of these shirts. You know those shirts that you get brand new and they're just like stiff? That's not how any of these shirts have been in my experience. So just the last few items I wanted to show you guys as part of my collection because I feel weird if I don't include them. Obviously don't need to get into depth on it, but I got this one from my dad from, I think he got it from Amazon or eBay. And then I just recently purchased my first set of the books. It's the search part one through three is what I purchased because I really want to know if Zuko ever finds his mom because they don't talk about it. And even in Legends of Korra, they kind of like joke about it and tease it, but they do not get into it. So I'm really curious to see that. And from what I could see, this is the series that he finds his mom in or he's looking for his mom in it. And she's obviously right there on the front. So it's a good sign. You know, I think we'll find her. We'll find her. <laughs> I'm way too invested. That is everything that I have purchased. That is certainly not the end of my wish list. There are so many more things on Etsy that I want to purchase for myself. I think everything's very aesthetic and beautiful in the TV series, so I just had to have some items. So yeah, that's everything for me. I really hope you enjoyed this Avatar haul. If you have found some Avatar The Last Airbender or Legends of Korra items that you really like or things that you're gonna buy, definitely throw those down below in the comments, please. I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to see what you found. And if not, you know, comment your favorite moment from the show. Have you seen the show? Do you like it? Obviously, I have a pretty firm opinion on the matter. But if you made it this far, thank you so, so much for watching. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more content from me. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll see you next time.